Hey guys, Shelly here. Saturday, it's a sunny day and we have got a lot of work to do. It sounds and looks like my truck full of equipment just pulled up. So we are going to put in some fence posts. So this is the real story of putting in a fence. It's not pretty. This is post number two today. I am in charge of tamping the dirt in and the concrete and filling this hole now that we have it stable and level. Husband, Commander Bacon, is down there getting ready to set the next hole. And there's Bacon Bits. They are running the two-man auger. They are grumpy and don't work well together. <laughs> Commander Bacon has a sore neck and of course his allergies are driving him crazy out here. The other one is a 20 year old that would rather be anywhere but here and they don't communicate well together. And I am trying my best to stay at the previous hole and get it finished so I don't have to be around them because I have a sore throat and uh, my ears hurt. I feel like I'm getting a cold. And so none of us are in a good mood working on this fence. But we rented the auger and we have got a lot to do. So hopefully we'll still be speaking at the end of the day. <laughs> we'll let you know later. So now we are at holes three and four. Hole three went really well. Let's see if I can get it in there. I can't really tell. You could tell this corner is a little bit muddier. This is a little more mud than dirt. Hole number four doesn't want to be dug. That's as far as the auger would go. And the other two decided to take a water break and a break from this auger. So it is one o'clock. We got a really large late start. I think we started like at 11 or 11.30 even maybe. Um, so I guess it's not too bad that we got two posts completely set, holes three done, hole four half done, and we still have the auger for the rest of the day. Let's just hope the energy and uh, the patience lasts the rest of the day. We'll see. They're off to the next corner. That's the lowest corner in the lot. And we started a hole down there the last time we um, rented the auger and it stays full of water. So this should be interesting. On this end, this is hole four. And let me switch it around so you can see so it. So we have it tamped down enough now that it is staying level and I can continue filling it. Let's go over here to hole three. It's almost completely full. So I'll put the rest of that dirt in and tamp it down. This is what we're trying to do though, is get to, um, get to where the post is level and it's not gonna move any so that they can move to the next one. Now the grumpy people are getting along better. I don't know if it's because they called a truce or because everybody's tired now and we're too tired to argue. I don't know. But whatever it is, I'm glad the grumpy people are not grumpy. So uh, hopefully we will finish the day in peace, but we still have a lot of work to get done. All right, so we're at hole five. Bacon bits over there is trying to hide from the fumes of the concrete. Commander Bacon, he's just been standing around blowing his nose. Yeah. While I Been doing all the work. am filling up the hole with concrete. I'm the one breathing all the dust. So this is our muddy hole. The swamp hole. The swamp hole. I think the rest of that bucket in there, we'll add some water to it and we should be good to go. Here. See the cloud of smoke? What are you doing, bitch? Don't stand over that. Flake. 
up, baby. Okay, you got a pretty good cloud there, honey. So yeah, this was the swamp hole. Now it's a smoke hole. And what was interesting, down in the bottom of the hole with all the water, there's actually some like tunnels in there. We don't know what that was. <laughs> hard working, hard working lady right there. Right. Hard working. Hard working lady. There's like one and a half bags of sacrete. Yep. Quick creep. We're gonna leave that one just settle down and do its thing. Smoke hole. Smoking. But it's it's staying in there pretty solid. The bottom of it had like six inches of mud, and that seemed to hold the bottom of the pole in place. Everything seemed to be stable, which surprised me. But anyway, we're off to new holes. All right, so it is four o'clock. And we just completed almost holes four, five, and six. Well, the holes are completed. Yeah, the poster. The poster. The last one, number six, isn't completely set, but it's close. Yeah, it's close enough to where, do I need to, I can't hardly hold my arm up. <laughs> <laughs> it's close enough where it will stay level and we can come back and fill it in. It's yeah. time for lunch, brunch, dinner, something. It's time Electro to go eat. Electrolytes. Take a break and then we got we'll four more posts to set today. 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 And that'll finish up everything in the backyard. Uh, and the only thing we have left to do with post is uh, between the building and the house. Yep. And we really can't do a whole lot with that because we need to get the gates. Uh, we're going to put a set of double gates, probably two 10 foot gates there to be able to drive the truck back through here. So, so we'll be back. After a while, show yeah. you all the rest of the day. Stay tuned. Hey y'all. Well, it is 6.15. 6.15. Saturday afternoon, evening. Yep. And we are in the bouncy truck. Ugh. Headed back to Home Depot to return the two-man auger. Yeah. We got it for 24 hours, but uh, we are finished with it for this time and We'd rather take it back today than have to get up on Sunday morning and go to Home Depot. So we are off to the races. Yeah, so, so we got 12 holes drilled, two of them for our neighbor Jim, and 10 of them for us. Uh, Jim's wasn't very deep. It was about two feet deep. Ours were 42 inches deep. How many posts did we get set? Six. We got six posts set in the ground, good to go, Woo. including the swamp pole. Yeah, we showed y'all the swamp pole. So it's, it's, uh, the quick creek really set up pretty fast. I mean, we can't do anything with it for probably 48 hours anyway, yeah. but it's, it's, it's set up pretty solid pretty fast. I was pretty impressed. This is going to have to be a quick video because I can't hold my arm in this position. <laughs> I've been, uh, packing dirt and concrete all day and I can't hold my arm up like this. Tamping, tamping, tamping. tamping. I've been tamping. tamping. So anyway, we got everything done today that we wanted to get done. Yay. There's no rain in the forecast for a while so it was safe to, to go ahead and drill out the last four holes and we can put the post in tomorrow or yeah. some other day. We'll, we'll probably get them tomorrow I think. Yeah. We'll get that knocked out. Again, we don't really like working on Sundays but sometimes you have to do what you gotta do. Yep. Like uh, David walking through the uh, the wheat fields with his his com compadres, and they were hungry on the Sabbath, and they pulled some heads of grain off the wheat and they ate it. All right, you're gonna so, have to give a sermon later. I yeah. gotta put my arm down before it falls off. All right. All right, y'all. Hope y'all enjoyed the the real life version of putting up the fence yeah. with the grumpy people and all all that good stuff. Yep. So. Honey. So until you? next time, don't forget, his way is the best way. We'll see you later. God bless. Uh.